Dulwich Hamlet welcome Lower Soft Town to Champion Hill for just the second time ever this afternoon in Rymer League Premier Division action. The Hamlet booked a semi-final spot in the London Senior Cup two nights ago when they beat Tooting and Mitchell United on this ground, having made ten changes for that game and make nine alterations for today, with Edwards and Tomlin the only survivors from Thursday. Heading into their last outing away to Merston, Lower Soft were unbeaten in eight in all competitions, form which had kept them within a slim chance of making a late dash for the playoffs. However, they were on the wrong end of a 1-9 scoreline at the moat side, and Eddie Gallagher makes two changes with returns for Travis Cole and Chris Henderson. Dulwich have already won twice against the visitors this season. Will they make it three from three and keep hold of a top five spot? Drage sends that long, looking for Ibris Akadja. Nodded away by Travis Cole. Beanie tried the back heel to Green. Lovely footwork from Nathan Green. Cargbo now. Rolls it wide. Clunis gets away from Adam Smith, the captain. Still Clunis. Lined up the shots and it's Pongo for the corner. It was swerving. And Jessup made sure he got his hands behind it. Strong hands by the goalkeeper and concedes the first corner of the afternoon inside the first two minutes. Here is Harvey Hodd, former Concord Rangers man. Started the season there. It's going to break for Sakadja here. Chance for him to stretch his legs for the first time this afternoon. Slips it in for Green. Went for goal himself. Could have played into marker perhaps. Chance goes for Dulles for the time being. Beanie heads it out to Sakadja. In for Green. Goes down. Hod did enough. It's put out for a throw. Dulles finding an opening. Here's Sakadja. Nathan Green. He comes across over Jessup. Clunis gets in. Header off target though. Just seemed to be off balance, Nairon Clunis, and as a result, was a difficult one to send goalwards. No, he's going to play it short to Cargbo. Back out with Gavin Tomlin, it'll go. Beanie get a bit lucky. The ball came into his path. Cargbo again. Almost a, a false touch from him, able to play the pass out to Green. Tomlin again. Beanie. Sakadja, promising attack for Dulwich. Sakadja with the early shot. Jessup parries, and over the top by DeMarca. Couldn't test the goalkeeper from close range as the ball fell to him to marker. Three centre backs, very accomplished ball players. Beanie. Chambers. To marker. Sakadja. Back with Cargbo. Dulles has played nice football so far. Sakadja again. Rolls it to Green. Players in the box for him. Green drills it towards the near post. Parried away by Jessup. Trying to catch him out there, Nathan Green. He's on the ball again, the left back. Sakadja. Green. In comes the cross, over Jessup again, Clunis ready to pounce and needed to be flicked away by Adam Smith. Tomlin. So go back to Chambers. And for Sakadja it goes, trying to lay off a beanie, not come off for him, Fisk intervenes. Smith, heavy touch. Cargbo, Clunis is in space now as a result of that mistake by Smith. Can Dulles capitalise? Low ball in, Sakadja rise, and Dulwich lead. It has been coming, and here comes the trademark backflip celebration by Sakadja. <laughs> Dulwich gifted the ball back, and they made Lois off pay. Sakadja tapping home with ease at the far post for his 11th goal for the club. Cargbo released Clunis, looked up, saw the run of Sakadja at the far post. Once it reached him, he wasn't going to miss from there. Dulwich lead 1-0. To come on. In by Cotton. Pretty deep. They had a header in there. It was Bamant. Couldn't direct it. Goldwards. One by Tomlin in the air. Fisk to Henderson. Let it come across him. Does find Hod anyway. Saw his feet out, Harvey Hod. Fisk round the corner, that's a nice reverse pass and Cotton's in behind Cargbo. And Dulwich might be a bit stretched. Bamant, whether so has got to come across to him. Low ball in again all the way through and not for the first time. Reed just an inch or two away from poking that home. Most often not, as I say, with too many shots of note in this first half. Sakadja. DeMarca. Takes one touch, and the second, that's a fine save by Jake Jessup. Went one-handed, and tips it away for a corner. He's having a busy first half, is Jessup. Sakadja, goal scorer in that first half for Beanie. Lovely ball wide for Clunis, brings under his control, taking on Smith. A bit of a torrid time against Clunis in that opening 45. 
Cogbo. Weatherstone. DeMarco inside the area. Holds on to the ball. Got a bit lucky with the bounce. DeMarco goes for goal and palmed away by Jessup at the start of the second half. Another fine stop by the lower soft goalkeeper. Jessup hasn't always looked great coming for crosses. And they put him under pressure here. Tomlin towards Weatherstone. It's well dealt with. Beanie will just thread that back wide for Tomlin. And take a touch or two before delivering the second ball. It's a lower one this time. Cargo's in there. Miscues his shot. Bobbles into the arms of Jessup. This is the sort of opportunity they have to take. They've not created much going forward so far today. Chance to silence the Dulwich faithful inside Champion Hill with this set piece. And it comes. And it is in. It's Travis Cole who got in. And Lois, as I say, created very little today. We'll restore parity in this game. Got a free header in there, Cole. And we're in three minutes of the restart. Dulwich have been pegged back. <laughs> his fifth of the season. Just his second in the league. Met the corner. Plant it beyond Edwards. Lois off respond. Deep ball in. Chambers heads away for the time being. Green helps it to the edge of the area. Henderson. Hod wanted it down. He wanted Hod to go down the line, sorry, but played it back to him and Henderson makes that run instead. Behind Tomlin with the cross. And Cotton's guided that into the arms of Edwards and Lowestoft have a spring in their step now. Gavin Tomlin to take the corner. Can Dulledge retake the lead here? And it comes. Green steals in! Free header, Nathan Green, and it's past the far post. Looked like the net was going to ripple any moment there from Green. Henderson, Hod, goes long towards Reed. Drage wins that comfortably enough. Tomlin hooks up towards DeMarca. Cole does enough for a moment, but DeMarca still holds on to the ball. So catches giving him some space. Oh, that's fantastic from DeMarca. What a fine effort by the Dulwich number nine. And what a way to retake the lead that is. Shrugged off Cole, darted inside. To catch it, made space for him. And he unleashed a ferocious drive. Swerved away from Jessup. Dulwich do retake the lead. Outstanding goal by the ex-Maidstone man. Tomlin turns away from Smith. Trying to drive on Gavin Tomlin. Smith standing tall. Tomlin stays with the ball. Clunis. DeMarcus there again. And that time he heads wide. No second goal there for DeMarcus. He's helped on towards Cotton behind him. Green hammers that away. That is what to try and counter attack now. As often as they can, second half. Kamara. Support arriving to his right and feeds it to Clunis. And it comes. Looking for Kamara, the return ball. Clunis wins it back. Kamara, Clunis. Goes for goal himself. That's not far wide either. Three man wall. Cotton gets it over the wall. Comfortable for Edwards. No real power in the shot. Edwards there was to scuttle across his goal line and. Comfortable hold for the goalkeeper. Drage sends that long, looking for DeMarco. It's over him. I'll go through for a goal kick, I think. Goal kick's a verdict. And that was, I think, a reaction by Cole. And he's going to get a red card. Well, he reacted with the coming together with DeMarca and uh, Travis Cole, who brought Lois off level in the second half, has uh, been dismissed here. And for Ryan Jarvis. Not to the far side it goes. Witherstone turned by Bamant. Can he pull it back? Yes, he can. Cotton, it's a heavy touch. It will come for Harvey Hodd. Miscues his final shot. Didn't strike it cleanly. Just the one goal this season since coming back to the club for Hod. I think we might see Erskine on soon. Looks like he's getting ready to enter the fray. 
cause the defenders a bit of problems. Up front for Dulwich with his physicality. Scored when he started on Thursday. Green, this is where he could be dangerous. Anticipated that pass coming his way. Releases the marker on the left. Green's continued to surge forward. Kamara and Tomlin also up. It's back for Green. Still Green. And poke goalwards by Kamara. Dulwich do get the third. Panucci Kamara off the bench. All that came from Nathan Green's interception and burst forward. And Kamara goes to the bench to celebrate his second goal for the club. Green burst forward. Played on for Demarca. Green bomb forward still. Thought the chance might have gone initially when he didn't go for goal himself. Took his time. Waited for teammates in the middle. Kamara arrived. Pokes it beyond Jessup. That might be the points for Dulwich. Most off. Not much left to play in their season. They could still have an impact. In playoffs, they've got Layson to come still. And they play Merson on Thursday in their next game. Kamara, lovely skill. It's three on two here for Dulwich. Kamara goes on. Tomlin! Blocked off the line by Blake Tracy. Thumps the ground, Gavin Tomlin. He's disappointed. Dulwich so nearly crowning off their display with the fourth. Down the middle, goes over. Kamara holds on to the ball for the time being. Here's Clunis. Kamara continues to go into the area. Tomlin. Kamara. Gavin Tomlin. That's charged down. And the referee decides that's enough for this afternoon. And Dulwich have beaten Lois off town by three goals to one. Here are at a pretty busy Champion Hill. They were leading one at the break. Ibris Akadja tapping home from close range. A low Nairon Clunis cross. Dulwich guilty of wasting chance in that first half and Lois Offs came out to punish them at the start of the second half as Travis Cole headed home a corner. Dulwich regrouped and responded in fine style to maybe DeMarco with a long range effort giving them a 2-1 lead. And then off the bench came Panucci Kamara flicked home a third. It was a red card in the second half as well. Travis Cole after scoring was dismissed for an off the ball incident with Dimibi DeMarco. On a miserable afternoon for Lowestoft, which saw them lose Harry Barker to injury during the game and Rory McCauley beforehand. They go back to Suffolk empty handed. Final score at Champion Hill, Dulwich Hamlet 3, Lowestoft Town 1. Gavin, was that a pretty satisfactory afternoon work? Yeah, we got the points. 3-1. Uh, um, I thought <clears throat> even with a man uh, down, we were a stronger team today. Uh, they scored against one of play, which is disappointing for us. Um, and we had to be taking our chances. Uh, probably got a tape recorder on. Um, the game's out of sight in the first half anyway. But yeah, we, it's about points now. and We've got um, three valuable points um, to take us into Tuesday. It's a good three points for us today, seeing as Tunbridge dropped points today as well. So uh, yeah, it was good for us to get the three points. It seemed like it was a fairly comfortable afternoon. Apart from that, maybe first 10 minutes of the second half, it seemed you didn't really get out of second or third gear. It was quite a comfortable victory. Yeah, it was. Uh, we made a bit of hard work of it. I mean, they scored the, their first goal. But um, yeah, it wasn't. But especially when they went down 10 men, it felt very easy, to be honest. 80 from even before the game today just seemed like it was going to be a tough afternoon for you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we lost our centre half in the warm up, and uh, the one we tried to play was carrying a bit of a knock, which he couldn't, um, he, he couldn't play with. So uh, we end up having a, a midfield player at right back. We've already got a left back at centre half. Uh, you know, we're stretched to the max, to be honest with you. Um, just the way it's gone for us this year, particularly against Dulwich. You know, we haven't we haven't had much, you know, many breaks in any of the games really. But um, I, I was happy with our effort. You know, I mean, uh, there's a manful effort from from everyone. Uh, I can't follow the boys' commitment to the game, and uh, given the fact that we had to play so many players out of position, I felt we, you know, we had a proper go today. Um, I was chuffed that we got back to one-one. I felt that we created two or three good chances in the first half, but you know. Going down to uh, 10 men at that time is, is going to be hard in this heat against a team that's, uh, you know, buoyant and, and looking for a playoff spot. So, uh, better play, you know, um, you know, uh, double should worthy winners today. And, uh, you know, we've got a little bit to learn in different areas as far as um, the way that we play. This stage of the season, it is all about getting the points and getting on a bit of momentum and try and get away from that chasing pack, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. We just want to get in at playoffs, try to get to, looks like third spot, that's the aim. And then... Uh, get a home draw in the playoffs, that'll be the main aim. 
Did you feel out there, obviously, most of that squad that started today played on Tuesday and it was a bit sluggish against Leatherhead. Did you feel that that uh, game break on Thursday gave you guys the rest you needed and it seemed a lot much more slick performance as a result? Yeah, we've got a good squad, so it's good to rotate it. Um, yeah, it looked like it freshened up a bit. But it's good, people coming in, there's lots of competition for places. Yeah, it's, it, it's good. I think um, the squad's helped us uh, with the game on Thursday. The fact that we've got so many good players in reserve. Um, gave us a chance to rest a lot of the bodies and they, they came out today and looked a lot stronger and a lot fresher. So we're benefiting from having good players around us. Um, we use that to our right today and I thought we were better today. I felt that we, we, we reacted well to half time. We came out, scored a good goal and uh, and then carried a threat. And you know that's to go on top of the three good chances we had in the first half as well. So uh, I felt that there was a chance for us to obviously um, go ahead but we just made a couple of naive mistakes and uh, and a, you know a naive sending off from a young lad at the back and um, you know that put us under a lot of pressure and we knew that we were gonna have to deal with it. When it got to 1-1 we were thinking oh no here we go again. Yeah I try, try to remain patient and calm because um, that can't really do much to, to the players so I didn't really react and just waited and trusted that we'd get back in and I thought um, as it went on, we showed that we probably could have had a few more goals to good. Just out of uh, you know pride that we'd, we need to make sure that we turn up for every single game uh, and and perform as best uh, as we can. So uh, you know for us it'll be we'll be as competitive as we can be. You know we've, we've got a few uh, we've got a small squad and we've got a few injuries, but um, whatever whatever side we pick, we're expecting to go out and uh, and wear the shirt with pride and and uh, fight to you know to get the points. Um, that's what we'll look to do for the rest of the season and, uh, and obviously it's an opportunity now for players to uh, stake a claim to be part of the squad next year. Game in hand on Tuesday night at Merson, very important game. You win that move maybe five points because of the chasing pack, massive. It's just, you can't understate how important it is. Yeah, just one game at a time. Is, uh, we win uh, Tuesday, then uh, like you said, five points. Hopefully it'll take the wind out of the other teams that are chasing sales. So. At 1-1 one, one as well, as things said, it looked like two points from nine over the last week, which obviously would have been detrimental to our playoff chances, it's a big three points taking us into the busy period over Easter. Yeah, the busy period again is, is going to test the squad uh, in terms of who to rest at the right times and, and stuff like that. But um, I think, like you said, three points were, were good today. We now need to, to stretch off, rest off and get ready for Tuesday because that will be another tough game uh, down at, at Merstrom. Um, we need the three points again um, to give ourselves um, a little bit of a, a buffer in the playoffs because uh, that's our game in hand.